Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is a very special one. We're heading to Turkey. Here you can see we are on the plane getting ready to actually land. Guys, we made it to Turkey. We are officially in Istanbul. The flight was horrendous. Like it was so hot in the flight. Anyways, I don't want to waste too much time. Sven is here. We're gonna actually finish taking a reel. I hope it's successful. And then we're gonna find an Uber because they do have Uber here. And then we're gonna get to our hotel. Hi guys, first at night in Istanbul, um, we came home, the taxi was really crazy, I'll insert some clips, I felt so unsafe, um, I'll put a text on why but we're gonna move. Um, I'm going now to dinner, just cleaned up and we're gonna basically explore this Airbnb that we're in, it's actually kind of cute, I was a little skeptical but it's really cute, it's right above this like restaurant marketplace, I'll also link the place for you guys in my description box, super cute. When I get back I'm gonna give you guys a tour, this is basically the bedroom and yeah okay I gotta jump out now but really liking it so far. so we are back now from dinner and an evening out um, I think I included like some clips but we're back in the apartment let me show you guys the front door because I just feel weird in any country but <laughs> the top one doesn't really lock I don't know the key doesn't really work for there so yeah I put a chair there and then this one locks but it's all good that works I even brought my like hotel lock but it's not working on these doors so yeah that's my makeshift door lock let me give you guys a quick apartment tour as i mentioned earlier it is a really really cute airbnb um, and i also found it actually through booking but it is also an airbnb so this is the front door my makeshift door lock we have some curtains we have a dining table there's sven this is basically the living room area. We have a nice flat screen TV. We have this nice wood table. Actually really cute decorations. Then just to the right of the door is the kitchen, which is again also super cute. We went to the supermarket. Almost all stores were kind of open so it was really cool like the supermarkets it's 1 a.m by the way the supermarket was open so we picked up some water and then some snacks and you can also get food at this time like the city is absolutely alive so this is the kitchen area there's no coffee machine but we do have a hot water maker so that's fine um, and there's a whole stove we also have a massive fridge the host also left us some water which is nice but it's a massive massive fridge then this room here goes in to the bathroom we have here the shower which is in general quite clean so i really really appreciate that um, and it has really nice detailing i'm so surprised i don't think this place was as expensive as the other compared to other hotels i think we got good value for our money then we have a washing machine and then just the sink and then obviously toilet and we've kind of like unloaded our stuff there and there is me my hair is poofy it started to rain today actually so i came here with curls we don't have curls then let's make our way to the bedroom and then the apartment tour is basically over this is the bedroom again super cozy it is really small but i think it's actually quite cozy let me turn this down 
The only thing I'll probably will say is not super cozy is this mirror. It's like giving me creeps. I don't like a lot of mirrors in my bedroom, but it's here. It is doing what it wants to do. It's here, but nonetheless, the room is like really quite cute. And then we have a huge like closet space here. I've kind of already unloaded basically everything here. So good morning. Happy Saturday. I am holding the camera handheld this whole trip. I do actually have my travel tripod with me. I'm going to bring it. It's just very obnoxious in these streets to like use that tripod. So I'm going to try to do this handheld. The disclaimer is that please be prepared for some shaky footage. Um, anyways, we are all ready now to leave. Um, the plan actually was to go to breakfast first and then go to this perfume shop and then go to the mosque and then go to the Grand Bazaar, Spice Bazaar. Those are basically, I guess, like these huge marketplaces. Um, we woke up a little bit late. I wanted to start actually at 8 a.m. Obviously didn't make it. We got up actually at 9 and now we're heading out around like 9.30. Is it 9.30? It's 10.30. We're actually heading out at 10 30 which is way behind schedule but we'll be fine and yeah that's basically the plan so where are we going we just used to that power If you guys don't already know, I am starting to gain a little bit of an affliction for perfumes and as well collecting perfumes. So when we went to Turkey, I was like, yeah, I need to check out as many perfume shops as I can because I have an obsession as well right now with Arabic perfumes because they just last extremely long on me. So we stopped at this place called Leylas. It's actually quite known in Turkey. It was like all over the place. And to be honest, it was not my favorite perfume shop there were some really great ones like emissa i'm sure i'll show you guys a little bit later which had some other types of perfume something that you haven't smelt before and layla's had things that i've kind of smelt before and the bottles just weren't really it for me they're super girly which is not where i'm going i really want quality um but yeah we stopped here and it was cute and everything we didn't get anything and we're basically going to be moving on to another location another perfume shop but i will say this i thought there was going to be definitely more perfume shops in turkey but i was surprised there wasn't actually too much you kind of had to like google and search for an actual perfume shop but we did find some good things so i'll show you guys that throughout the video i would like to smell like vanilla amber oud cinnamon but nothing too too much Hey guys. guys, Turkey is so beautiful, but one thing YouTube did not prepare me for and it was the hilliness. It's very, very hilly. A lot of things are like uphill and yeah, it's a walking type of city. Here in this clip, we're actually heading to the Hagia Sophia and Blue Mosque and there was another mosque we wanted to see. And so we were walking up this really beautiful alley. It was so cute. There was actually a really famous hotel somewhere embedded in those streets. It was so stunning and it was kind of weird because it was embedded in like this old but also new. So it had this like really interesting flair. This area was really cute. It was layered with a bunch of cafes and it was all in all a really nice change from the street that we were just previously on which was filled with stores and like tourist traps you can say so this was really cute and now we made it to the top of the hill where you can find some mosques and they were stunning i don't think i've ever seen a mosque up close but they were so beautiful we took a walk further down and we're gonna see some more mosques but as you can see i was so surprised there are so many tourists right now like so so many tourists i completely was not expecting that i thought we were gonna kind of have istanbul to ourselves that is so naive to think but i was not expecting so many people but yeah we were bombarded with crowds and crowds of people 
We just walked a few steps and found a cafe which was right near the Blue Mosque and I will say this, Turkey has amazing coffee and as well amazing wine. So guys, we have stopped. Where? What are we in front of right now? We're in front of the Hagia Sophia and we stopped to get um, just some coffee. Honestly, just to use the bathroom, but we're gonna stop anyway. So I ordered a Turkish coffee and I got a cappuccino. Let's see how it is. Let me show you guys around as well. There is honey pops. <laughs> We don't really have a view, but... Thank you. Thank you. So here we decided to walk to the Blue Mosque and what was really unique and also an amazing experience was I believe this is the time where they started to pray. So right adjacent to the Blue Mosque was the Hagia Sophia and they had projected these prayers through a speaker and so when the Blue Mosque would say a prayer then the Hagia Sophia would also say a prayer. It was actually really unique and I'll insert a clip where you can actually hear it. We were able to also enter the Blue Mosque, which was also an experience, but again, so many tourists. We also had to be a little bit wary because they had just finished praying and we could not go into the praying area. But nonetheless, inside like this little area was really, really beautiful and we just sat there and chilled for a bit. You wouldn't believe it, but the weather actually was not that great in Turkey. It was raining like cats and dogs. So we were on our way to lunch and we were caught in this massive rain down and we hopped into this little restaurant and it had really great reviews. But to be fair, a lot of the restaurants had really good reviews. So I was just like, is this legit? Is it not? The food was okay here, um, but I'm not a big fan of like beef and lamb. And that was kind of what turkey had to offer but this place was actually really cool because they had a really nice presentation of certain foods and Sven had ordered it I do not know what it's called but it came with this whole presentation like the guy came out in a clay pot I think Sven had lamb it was like cooked in that clay pot in fire and then the guy basically just kicked off the top and broke the clay top that is not an accident that is actually part of the show and then served it up on a plate of fire and I think that is pretty cool in itself like what presentation like 10 out of 10 for presentation come on Now this is probably one of the most famous sites that you need to see when you go to Turkey and it is the Grand Bazaar and the Spice Bazaar. We are walking into the Grand Bazaar and this is basically where you can get things like gold bracelets, you can get bags, accessories, all of the tourist things that you want to buy and there's a lot of fakes in here guys, like a lot, a lot, a lot of fakes. Um, I'm not sure how legal this is, but anyways, it was really beautiful to see. There are so many people inside and we enjoyed ourselves. We didn't actually end up going to the Spice Bazaar because they also have some spices in here and I just didn't think it was necessary, so we didn't make it there. But if you do go to Turkey, I would definitely recommend to stop by the Grand Bazaar. Just our luck, it started raining cats and dogs once again, like raining super heavy. So we actually hopped into this sky lounge and you can get drinks here, hookah, food. And that is one thing I will say about Turkey, which I also didn't realize, but a lot of the bars, hookah lounges, restaurants, they're on the top floor. They're never on the ground floor, which is really interesting. But anyways, we were just really happy to find somewhere that was covered from the rain. This place was actually right next to the Grand Bazaar and not a lot of people I guess knew about it which is why it was empty they had an array of food a lot of hookah 
left, we decided to get something typical Turkish, which is the pide, I believe, or is it pida? It is one of the most tastiest things I've ever eaten. I can kind of compare it to a small pizza slash calzone-ish type of vibe, but it is so tasty. You have to eat this when you go to Turkey. Later that night, we decided to go out and guess what? It started raining once again, like heavy, heavy raining. So we stopped into this bar. I got a red wine, which was amazing. The red wine in Turkey just top. Sven also got a tea and he absolutely fell in love with tea this trip. So did I, like apple tea amazing like i need to know how to make that at home and then after that when it stopped raining we stopped into this sky bar which was amazing i got this spicy margarita oh my god like just amazing with mezcal it was just one of the best margaritas i've ever had morning we're out again we are now what city is this Balat. is still it a Istanbul. city no. still Istanbul but we're now gonna district. explore Balat <laughs> Okay, we're now, we just had a stop, I'm out of breath because we just went uphill, but oh, here is a little too steep for me. Now we're just looking at the famous, let me show you guys. These are like the famous colored houses. I'm not really sure what else they're famous for, but it doesn't even look that steep on camera, but it's so steep. Just walking around exploring so i lied the colorful area was actually this little spot here this is where all the colorful houses were that other place that we were it was also just a really nice location for our photos but this is that famous balat instagrammable place there were so many tourists here but it truly was beautiful in a very Zoe and Sven fashion, we also booked a boat tour on the Bosphorus. It's a canal that runs through Istanbul and we actually booked it through Viator. So if you're going, you can also just check there. This was a must do for this trip. It was absolutely beautiful and I keep saying that, but it was so romantic, so beautiful. Obviously, you know, massive amounts of people is not ideal and romantic and there were a lot of people, but once we got our spot on the boat, we got our tea, we got a glass of wine, everything calmed down. It was just so beautiful and we got to see a bit more of Istanbul from the water. 